So in this video, I just want to talk a bit more about the GH5S and in particular the sensor that they're potentially going to use. Now, I've been doing quite a bit of research over the last couple of days since I released my first GH5S video. And from what I can tell online is that the GH5S is going to be using a Sony sensor. Now, the reason I say this is purely because when the GH5S kind of spec sheet got leaked, it did give you information about the sensor and the ineffective and effective pixels. And basically what those are, are the ones that get exposed to light and the ones that don't. And those are identical to the Sony Starvis IMX292 sensor. So this sensor has one of the best noise to signal ratios in any modern digital sensor. Basically that means it's designed for low light applications. It's a low pixel count, but the pixels themselves are very wide. The sensor also uses brand new BSI technology instead of the old FSI technology. This essentially means that there's less metal and kind of dielectric layers on the sensor, which just allows light to pass through much more effectively. And something that not many people know of, and I actually only found this information out a couple of days ago as well, is that the GH5 does have a Sony Exmor sensor, whereas all the previous generation of the Panasonic's GH series had been Panasonic sensors. So the reason they're probably going over to Sony with the newer cameras is because Sony can deliver a significantly better signal to noise ratio. Their sensor technology is much more advanced than Panasonic's, as far as I can tell. I know that Panasonic have been making massive increases into their technology and they've released a few more patents over the last two years. And some of them have been to do with kind of low light capabilities and getting more from their sensors. But at the moment, I don't think they have the technology to compete with Sony. But what they do have is incredibly fast processors. So as far as I can tell with the GH5, they're pairing the best of Sony's technology with the best of Panasonic's technology. And I think it's gonna be exactly the same with the GH5S. So at the moment, these sensors are only being used in very high-end CCTV cameras. And that seems a bit odd because the specs of the sensor are so high, but I can kind of see why they're doing it. It's, it's because the signal to noise ratio is so good that they can actually capture images not in complete darkness, but with minimal lighting. But the rest of the specifications make zero sense in terms of a CCTV perspective. And I'm just gonna list off some of these now to kind of show you why people believe this is gonna be the next GH5S sensor. So it can capture 4K at 120 FPS in 10-bit color, which is, you know, a real game changer, especially a camera this size. Now I'm really hoping this will also translate to 240 FPS in 1080p at 10-bit color as well. So this was something I was a bit skeptical before of, but even Sony admits that this sensor is designed for high-speed applications. The sensor can also deliver 60 FPS, 4K, 10-bit and HDR. So not are you only getting billions of colors, you're also getting a massively high dynamic range image coming off that sensor. The sensor is also a very new kind of quad Bayer structure, which basically means it can capture a long exposure and a short exposure at the same time. So there's minimal ghosting when doing this in comparison to traditional HDR video. The sensor can also do 14 bits of color. And in the leaked GH5S specs, it did say that the GH5S would be the first micro full first camera to do 14 bit color. And the fact that this sensor can do that, I, I really think that's a positive note for them using this sensor. So I think for those features alone, they're gonna be paying a huge price per sensor on each of these cameras. So hopefully that doesn't affect the overall cost of the GH5S. I know people are saying that it's gonna be around two and a half thousand dollars per camera. I really hope it's not much higher than that as I think it's the kind of perfect price point for someone like myself who is looking to upgrade their camera kit but doesn't have the money to kind of spend on C200s or Reds. It will just be the perfect camera until I can make that massive step up. So obviously those are just tech specs of a sensor and none of it's confirmed that it'll be in the GH5S but I personally believe it will be. The Sony sensor in the GH5 has gone down so well with the community and they've obviously built their new systems around Sony sensors. So I believe it will definitely be in the GH5S. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, thank you for watching this and I'll keep you updated with any other GH5S or camera bits that come up. See you guys soon.